I didn't feel any pain. I just felt a lot of emotion. A weekend ride in the desert turns horrific for a Pacific Beach man. From his hospital bed, he talked to ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen about the dirt bike crash that's left him paralyzed. An adventure seeker, Dylan Taylor, jumped at his friend's invite to head out to the desert near El Centro to go dirt biking. This photo shows the 30-year-old native of Australia two Saturdays ago after he and a small group had ridden out to a scenic spot. Moments later, Taylor, who had to leave for L.A. to visit family, headed back to the campsite with a friend. It was only five minutes into that trip, went downhill from there. With his helmet strapped on, Taylor says he was going about 30 miles per hour on flat terrain when he looked back to make sure his friend was keeping up. Straight off the path, which ended up getting me into some much rougher terrain and then kind of bouncing the bike up and down and then eventually bucking me, like throwing me from the bike. Taylor's memory is a bit hazy. I knew pretty immediately that like I couldn't move my legs. But he believes he went head first into the ground. I didn't feel any pain. I just felt a lot of emotion. Like I really made a big mistake. Taylor was airlifted to a hospital. He suffered three fractures to his spine and a damaged spinal cord and is paralyzed from the chest down. That prognosis may improve, but the doctors don't don't say that sort of stuff. Taylor knows the road ahead won't be easy, but he is already planning how to adapt to perform his favorite activities, including spearfishing and mountain biking. How are you able to be so optimistic? Oh, well, like ever since COVID, I've always just sort of thought you got to live life. I don't want to let anyone stop me from doing the things that I love. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. Our thoughts are with him in his recovery. Taylor's wife works as a researcher for UC San Diego Health. So he says he is optimistic about medical breakthroughs that could help him. And a GoFundMe has been set up to help the family with expenses. There is a link on our homepage, 10news.com.